Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you're here for today's video because today I am finally trying out the Hobby Lobby fragrance oils that you guys have been begging me to try for such a long time. So if you're ready to see me try these fragrance oils out and give you my honest review, then keep watching. Alright y'all, so I am trying these Country Lane fragrance oils that I got from Hobby Lobby. You guys have been begging me to try these out for quite a while now. So I thought I would go ahead and snag some of these while I was on my last Hobby Lobby run. And I was really excited to see Love Spell in there because I already know what that is supposed to smell like. Not only have I used Love Spell fragrance oils from a ton of different companies and they all fairly smell the same, but also I am a part of the generation that doused themselves and the gym locker room in love spell body spray when we were in high school so definitely had to snag that one because i kind of have an expectation for it but then i also grabbed cool musk because that seems promising because usually when i see a fragrance oil like on another company's website and it would be named like cool musk normally it kind of smells like a nice men's cologne or something so i figured these were the two most promising scents so we shall see so like i said i did get these from Hobby Lobby. These were $3.99 each, making them about the same as most fragrance oil companies charge for their one ounce sample size bottles. So other than the fragrance oils, you're obviously going to need your basic car freshly supplies. Now I have already scented my aroma beads. I actually just put the empty bottles back in the packaging just so you guys could see what they look like if you want to go hunt them down at Hobby Lobby. So these are ready to go. So you're obviously going to need aroma beads, your mica pigment powders and a mason jar, some elastic and scissors, a baking sheet to bake your freshies on, and either some metal cookie cutters or some silicone freshie molds to bake your freshies in. And I'm actually using two freshie molds that I made myself that I'm going to be launching within the next week and a half or so. So be on the lookout for these. And then you're also going to need either roofing nails to put a hole into your freshie, or you can use eye screws if you go that route. This mold actually has like a little piece that is a part of the mold, so I don't need to put a roofing nail in this one. Now, I actually already have my oven preheated to 300 degrees, so we are ready to bake my freshies. And since these are two different scents, I'm just gonna be baking one at a time. So we'll start with this one. It's a cute little cooler, and it says, don't hate me just because I'm a little bit cooler. So cute. So I really wanted to do this one with red. So I did some red mica pigment powder with my aroma beads, I'm trying to go for that classic little red and white mini cooler that everybody knows and loves. All right, so this one is scented in the Cool Musk fragrance. Right off the bat, my first impression is it kind of reminds me of like your typical old man soap or something. Like I almost smell like soap or baby powder. Hopefully it'll smell a little bit better after being baked, but I doubt it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my preheated oven at 300 degrees for about 15 minutes. Silicone mold freshies usually take a little bit longer to bake than if you were using metal cookies cutters all right guys so i just heard my timer go off so let's check on this freshie i can tell by looking at it it's not done so you see how the beads are pulling up with my finger when i touch them that means they are not done it hasn't been baked all the way through so we're going to put it back in for like another two minutes and then we'll come back and check on it so it's been another couple minutes, so it should be done now. Oh yeah, already looks so much better. But yeah, no beads sticking to my fingers, so that's good. And I'm actually gonna take a metal spoon and push down all these little jagged edges on the edge there. You can also kind of fold in the mold and it will do it for you. But some spots you might need to go in and fix with the spoon if they didn't all go down. So like you see how this last side has some like jagged edges right there. It might be kind of hard to see against that pink there, but I'm just pushing the silicone mold kind of inward and it pushes all those jagged edges down. So now we have a nice smooth freshie that we don't have to trim down later. And with silicone molds that are really detailed, I recommend that you take like a metal spoon. You can also use a lightly dampened paper towel, but I just like to push down 
on the beads so that it's kind of pushing them onto whatever design is down there really getting in all of those creases and fine details okay so now we're gonna let this freshie completely cool down to about room temperature before we are ready to demold it and then decorate it all right and for the love spell fragrance we are using this adorable little smiley face it kind of looks like it's melting and it has little flowers behind it so cute I am using a nail with this one. So I'm just gonna set my nail in there and pour my beads in. My first impression of this fragrance oil, um, I hate to say it, but it doesn't smell anything like Love Spell. I don't even see how they could call this Love Spell, but it almost reminds me of like cheap, gas station soap that's what i'm smelling right now so that's kind of unfortunate because i don't like this scent and i was planning on putting this freshie in my car and the cool musk cooler one i was going to put in my husband's car for him but i definitely don't like this fragrance i doubt that it's going to smell any different once i bake it but hopefully it'll smell a little bit better we shall see All right, so they're not sticking to my finger, so it's good to go. So same thing. I'm just gonna push down the edges with my silicone mold in these tight little spaces. It's kind of hard, so I might need to use my little metal spoon. All right, so once again, we're gonna let this cool down before we're ready to demold it, but our other freshie should be completely cooled down by now, so we can go ahead and start decorating that one. All right, like I said, I am making this one for my husband's car, so I'm not gonna be adding any glitter to it. I'm just gonna be using some white acrylic matte paint to decorate with. So there is our freshie. Hopefully you guys can see that design in there. Once I decorate it, you will definitely be able to see it better. So now that I'm done with this one, I'm gonna set that aside so that acrylic paint can completely dry and our other freshies should be cooled down enough to demold and start decorating. All right, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna let this one dry as well so that when it's completely dried, we can put the elastic cord through both of the freshies and we will be completely done. So our freshies are completely dried. So now we're just going to tie our elastic onto them and we will be done. So now this one's ready to go. And now this one's done. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Um, I don't think the scents really changed much after baking them. They are kind of like subtle scents. They're not strong or overpowering. I don't think that these would give you a headache if you're super sensitive to fragrances, but this Love Spell definitely does not smell like Love Spell to me. It still smells like generic soap. So, I mean, if you are looking for like a clean scent, then maybe you should try this out. But like I said, if you are looking for that typical Love Spell fragrance, this is not it. And then as far as the cool musk goes, it still smells like 
some type of old men's cologne mixed with baby powder or something maybe like a cheap lotion i don't really know how to explain it but it's still kind of a weak scent to me and it does kind of have like a clean smell so again if that's what you're looking for then maybe try this out so if i'm being completely honest with you guys i don't really like these scents i personally wouldn't put it in my own car i also didn't like that they didn't have a ton of different options it's a very small selection of fragrances to choose from and also i didn't like that they only had one ounce sizes available so if you do find a scent that you happen to like you can't get it in a larger size at least at hobby lobby but some of the pros for these fragrances are they cured very fast i think within like three days they were completely cured the oils themselves were clear they weren't yellow or tinted kind of orange like some fragrance oils are and the last pro that i can think of is they're kind of convenient because if you want to experiment or try out a fragrance oil you can just jump in your car head over to hobby lobby which we always need excuses to go to anyway but then you can get a couple of fragrance oils to try out instead of ordering some online paying for shipping and having to wait for them to be delivered so definitely not terrible at all i personally just don't like these scents but if you've tried any of the hobby lobby fragrance oils and you like them please let me know which ones they were down below so that i can give them a try i would greatly appreciate it or if you've tried this brand of fragrance oils or these specific scents and you didn't like them then let me know that as well but that's where i'm gonna leave you guys today as always i hope you enjoyed today's video as much as i did if you did like it please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop a comment down below i would love to hear what you guys think and if you're watching this video but you're not already subscribed to my channel then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my future videos i would greatly appreciate the follow thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time time.